I have an empties video for February. Sorry, it took a little longer to get this uploaded, or I guess filmed, because I'm filming right now. But I did go through a few things in February, and I wanted to show them to you before I threw them away. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. It's a cleansing towelettes and exfoliating cucumber, and this was by Target's brand, Up and Up. I think that's Target's brand, I was positive. And it has like little microfiberiness in it. It's just what is the word? Uh, textured. So it feels like it's getting off dirt a lot easier. And I love it. And I think it's only like $3 and something cents. So worth it. Absolutely. And then I went through this Beauty Control Chocolate Indulgence White Chocolate Peppermint Instant Manicure. Just exfoliating stuff. And I use it on my hands and my feet. And it took away all the dryness. Like it was amazing. Not so much all of it on my feet because let's be real here. They are so so dry and like cracked that really nothing but a good soak of lotion every day is gonna cure it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for like really cracked feet, I have a pet egg or whatever you call that and I haven't actually used it in a while, which I should, but my feet are like cracked to the point where like it hurts to walk on them. That's gross, I know. I just need to be more consistent on like lotioning them. But this on your hands, like in your knuckle areas, it took away the dryness completely. It makes it so soft. Your elbows too. That's what I used it on and it smelled so good as well. It's the white chocolate peppermint. It was heaven and it's gone. And it's by Beauty Control, which is like a Mary Kay type thing. My mom sells it. So like, I think she gave me this for Christmas that or I just took it. I don't know. I loved it though. I went through a Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo and I believe I got this in one of my bags or a box of some sort. It was definitely from a subscription. It was just a sample size a dry shampoo. It worked really well. I don't know how much it is because that would kind of sway me on whether I want to purchase it or not. So I really like the Batiste ones and I also really like Dove and I think Dove is the cheapest so that's probably the one I'm going to keep repurchasing. But this definitely did work if you want to try it out. I would suggest it on that end. But if you're looking for a lower end dry shampoo, definitely go with the Dove one because it works just as well and it's like $2 and something cents. I finally went through this Chi 44 Iron Guard Heat Protectant Spray and I use that every time before I straighten my hair, at least on all the clean days. That's something I was wondering, should I use the heat protectant spray before every time I straighten it or just like when I first clean it? Because you know sometimes I will go two days without washing my hair and the second day I'll go over a little bit with my flat iron. So should I be spraying it again during that? Let me know in the comments because I'm really not sure about that. I've just been doing it every time my hair is clean and then before I iron it. But it smells amazing. It's like a perfume on your hair. I definitely want to repurchase this. Right now I'm using the Tresemme one that I think Ingrid and Joey both highly recommended. So I have that for now, but I probably will repurchase this from like TJ Maxx on sale or something. It is amazing. It's like cologne for your hair. It really is. And then I went through a secret clinical strength waterproof all day fresh scent advanced solid deodorant. And this is supposed to activate with your stress. I don't really stress much, like that's just my personality. I'm more relaxed, so I, if, it, if I was stressing, I'm not sure, but I don't know. It worked the same either way. I, who knows if that actually works with stress or not, but since I don't stress, it worked like a nice deodorant. I like the clinical ones. I feel like I may sweat more than the average bird just because the regular ones don't really work that well for me clinical so far is the best one I have had and I don't have a certain brand like I know a few of them have clinical strength ones I just like it to have clinical strength on the bottle because then I feel like I'm gonna be a little more protected but I still sweat through this sometimes gross I know and the last two things are candles I went through a Bath & Bodders candle of course and hot buttered rum it smells so good I think this might have been my last one. If not, I maybe have a one more. So that's gonna be a repurchase in the winter time, probably. The scent description is cozy up with this richly indulgent treat on a frosty winter's night. Buttered rum, smooth caramel, and just a hint of bourbon. Perfect wintertime scent. And then the very last thing is by Mainstays, which is Walmart's brand, and it is a hazelnut cream candle, and it was like $3, so can't beat that. Only complaint is it wasn't like extremely scented. It was just a little bit. So it smelled good, but like right now when I'm smelling it, I really can't smell it. 
Like it's nothing compared to the Bath and Body Works scents, I guess. But for $3, like the scent when it was burning, it smelled really good. I probably will repurchase this, I guess all in all is what I'm trying to get after. But it's just not as highly scented as Bath and Body Works. You're gonna get a superior product from Bath and Body Works. And this one is just better if you want to stay like within a budget. Now I'm just rambling. That was all with my empties. Let me know in the comments if you had any favorites that you used up this month. Because I'm always in the market to check out some new stuff. Or old stuff that's new to me. So let me know and I will just see you guys really soon in another video. Bye!